Today we're gonna check out how you can revive your old computer out there in the world. It can be up to 15 years old with this method. Yes, hello, welcome. Welcome back guys to another tech video with Human and Sutton and today we're gonna revive your old computer at home. We're gonna install Zorian OS and it's gonna be fast and efficient because that is what this OS is built for. It, it, it is made to revive your old computer that is up to 15 years old. So we're gonna check that out today. We have a Surface Pro 1 that is very old and we're gonna check how it stacks up with Zorian OS. So this is Zorian OS. At first glance we can see that it's very Windows inspired. You see our desktop and our taskbar. So let's dive into the features of Zorin OS. At the right bottom corner here we have our notifications and we will get all of our notifications here. And we also have our Bluetooth and our Wi-Fi and also our battery. And we can change the display brightness here. And here we see the volume and our calendar. Perfect. And then here we have our pin apps on our taskbar. And on the start menu, at first glance, you can see some categories here. We have system, settings, office, and games, and much more than that. And here we have our home documents, downloads, music, and pictures, and all of those categories. And here we can find the software, which is the, like the Play Store here in Linux distros. And also we can access our settings. So let's dive into the settings here. And here in settings, we can maximize the window and we see we can change the appearance, our desktop, our language support, menu editor, Zorin appearance and all of that stuff. So let's go into appearance and then we can change the appearance of your desktop and all of that stuff. So it's a very nice and efficient way of accessing your settings. Yes, so we can dive into our system here and our Thunar file manager. And here it's like on Windows. You can find your desktop documents downloads and all of that stuff. And you can also see the trash here. And then we're gonna check out the camera app here and it's called Cheese. And here we see Sutan here. Hello Sutan. Hello. Yeah, so the camera works here. So you can say one, two, three, cheese. Perfectly. And let's check out that image. We just go into our pictures here, webcam, and then we find that picture. And we see Sutan here. Wow, what an amazing picture. Such a happy man here, Sutan. Wow, what an amazing. And then we can go into the software here. So it's like the Play Store on Linux distros. One thing that I've noticed with Zorin OS is that all of your Windows applications opens up in a small window. So you have to maximize all the windows by yourself, even though the last session was a maximized window. Zorin OS will open up that app in a small window. And for me, I'm a user that always like to have maximized windows when I work and do my things because I want to be efficient. So this is a, a pretty much, it's a, it's a bummer for me. But other than that, I'm really impressed with Zorin OS. Okay, so Chrome is not available here, but Chromium is, and that is the open source browser of Chrome. So basically it's the same thing. So we just installed it here, so I'm just gonna launch it now. Here. And it works perfectly. And then we're gonna check out a Swedish newspaper here. And it loads up and it works perfectly, wow. And we can scroll down here and you see how fast and snappy this OS is. You can see I zoom in and it it's really snappy. Wow, I'm really impressed with Zorin OS and Chromium. Wow. So let's try out some games here. We go to games 
and then mines. And it works well, perfectly. What an amazing way of spending your time when you have time off, playing a little mines. And then you see all here, office. And we see we have LibreOffice, LibreOffice Base, Calc, Draw, Impress and Writer. Wow, this is so amazing that you have a complete office built into the OS. And I think that Microsoft should learn from this to have Microsoft Office built in on Windows. It's a really neat and cool thing to have LibreOffice built in for free in your OS. So if you are a student out there in the world and you have an old computer lying at home or you want to buy a cheap computer, you can do that and install Zorin OS and then you will get a fast and efficient computer for a low price and also you will get the complete package LibreOffice for free so you won't have to buy Microsoft Office license or any of that those apps because you are a student and you have a tight budget. Wow what an amazing OS Zorin OS I am so amazed it was very Windows inspired and I like that because I'm a heavy Windows user and it, re it really had that clean and neat design that I like. One thing I really couldn't stand with Zorin OS was it, that it kept opening all the apps and windows and application in a small window. And for me, I, I like to have all my apps in maximized windows to see everything, to be efficient. So for you, if you are like me, this can be a little a hassle with this OS. But other than that, it's a nice and clean design of an OS. And I would recommend this OS if you don't will be bothered by that. Comment down below if you have any questions about any other OS or Linux distros. And do not forget to share this video with any of your friends out there in the world that has an old computer that they want to revive. And do not forget to like this video so we can grow this channel even further and the bell icon so you can get notified of our all of our recent uploads. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel so we can grow this channel even further together. Human Assistant, Tech Team. Human! And Sutan!